I just love the fact that Kate is doing so well with her mental health recovery that she feels she's in a very safe space. I mean, yeah, it's a hospital and all, but dude, she's way better now than she was a couple episodes back, and it's pretty refreshing to see her. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. And she's keeping herself busy, like that's fantastic. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Huh. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on, let me see, let me see. Uh, I miss my banana. Bored cat? That's me. Where is she? Walk, walk. Here. Okay. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Exactly. Remember when she was so depressed she didn't even want to play her violin or do any of her hobbies? Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wait, what? Wow, props to her. Wow, I'm surprised. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Exactly. Using religion as comfort? Nothing wrong with that. I don't think get well is quite apropos. Well, you know what? Stop looking into things. Get well soon. Mentally. Why not? That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. Ew. But not Nathan. Fuck Nathan's bitch ass self. He's a hater. Victoria like, Chase might him. be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Kate, I know you hate me. And you should. Oh my god, cue the violins, please. But I only want to see your smile again. Shut the hell up, stop lying. Please let me know if you need anything. Shut up, Vic. Okay. Okay, I don't believe that shit one bit. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Dear Kate, I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor and I've never seen such outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little, which they do, whatever, given your circumstances, for me being a shitty ass principal, <clears throat> but it's important you know that we do care. Yeah, afterwards. If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. Yeah, I'll probably ask after you're done drowning yourself with that liquor you have in your office. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. No, you don't, honey. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Mm. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. Or Chloe. No boys allowed. You are funny, Max. And right. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be, uh, not nice. You are so nice for I that. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. You know what, bless you. I might you. be naive, but I feel her struggle. You're not I naive. I wasn't so nice to her this week either, when I took a picture of her covered in paint. I thought it was hilarious. She deserved moment. it. We it's a all proud moment moments. for me. Why do you think she acts so mean? She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Preach it. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If she does. anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. Yes. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, Preach it, Kate. I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. 
You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Aww. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Wait, have we been taking care of the bunny at all? I don't remember feeding that thing. Oh my god, I don't remember feeding that thing. Oh shit. All right, you know what? Let's it's just. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. Have our quiet little montage, I guess. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. Hmm. But whoever said we only have a single fate? You okay. <sighs> Time travel is such a mind fuck. I agree. That's definitely an understatement, especially with what we have been going through with the past couple of episodes, going through a what if scenario of Will being alive, seeing Chloe handicapped, asking for death. Let's get up. I'm tired. I'm tired of this little philosophical moment. I'm just here to kick ass. Take names, kick ass. Let's go. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Aww. All right, let's go. I'm ready to go. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh my god, I am just so horny for justice. I can't wait to see what happens next. Why is there a montage of just people playing around outside as if I actually want to see that? This guy sitting here next to the tree. Where's Molly Shannon kissing the tree? We need that. I miss that movie, Superstar. The little tiki in the background. Oh, God. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too Ew. cool for the school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? Why are you it's asking weird, her? just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Are you flirting with him, Chloe? Teacher. Ew. Gross. You are out of control. Not yeah, yet. control yourself. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Okay, so while Chloe is gone, what am I supposed to do? Let's see like... if I can find out where Nathan is. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. 
Okay, let me go ahead and talk to random ass people. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. I need a hug. What you talking hey, about? Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. What the hell? What makes you suck? Like, who says it sucks? Maybe you should try different subjects. Something more like your portraits. That makes sense. But not if I can't choose the subjects in class. If only I could draw my photographs. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. I'm not gonna talk to him anymore, cause I made him so depressed, Justin, like... It's been so long since I've seen you. Cause you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. I go into Blackwell. Insane. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Oh my god, he literally has a fat ass crush on her. Let me walk away before I get jealous. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Don't jinx it. What That's the so hell? That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. Oh my god, bitch. You are so salty. Like, what the fuck? I have the hots for Chloe, not for Warren, so calm your tits. Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape. Talk to you later, Max. You know what? Let me rewind. Talk to you later, Max. Okay, let me rewind again. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. You're Come on, still Brooke. salty, bro. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? What okay. the hell is that supposed to I mean? I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even Miss Grant has no clue. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Oh my god, him Why and Miss Grant? How are you now doing, kid. Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. I forgot he talks in third person. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. I like him. Really He's straight to him. the point. Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. Wait, what do you see? What do you see? What the hell? Are you on to me, man? Do I need to take you out? I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. 
because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I Damn. believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. That is so depressing. What the hell? What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. So he believes in that too, that's pretty interesting. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... No, 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 don't oh. think like that, Sam. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. Exactly. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Shit, that means Which I could be a squirrel. Th that I have to feed them now. Hey, look at that. A cute little squirrel. So adorable. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Oh, yeah, let's ask about Rachel. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Oh, wow, that's a good perspective. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Yo, Sam... Rachel Amber is waiting too. Sam is onto something, bro. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. Dun, dun, dun. Our time is on your side. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. That is so depressing, bro. They're not alone these days. They want to scream so and powerless. shout and let it oh, all no. out. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. 
I'm sorry. I better get going now. I like how I the whole time I'm talking to Sam, Miss Grant is just sitting there. Mrs. Grant looks listening. interested in whatever Samuel is saying. Okay. She has a fat ass crush on him, Hi, that's Grant. why. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. Hey. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. You're so funny. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. I'm not. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. <gasps> and I'm glad you did. Oh my so goodness. I haven't seen Nathan at all. Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week. I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you you might be the wisest. <laughs> A backhanded compliment? Come on, man, really? I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? I need a doctor. Blackwell Academy needs the help. Exactly. There's Not something me. terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. She's onto something. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. Or canceled. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There must be a scientific explanation. Right? When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. So... You don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. Okay. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end of the world posters. Unless you know something I don't. Da -dum -dum. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. A theory. If this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I Besides love how Max is all I freaking out going. low key. I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Same here. Okay. All right. Let me go get my emo girlfriend here. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, Ew, I don't so... want that pervy ass teacher. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode.
so lame. They don't have co-ed dorms here. Uh, yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Oh my god, I'm in the boys' section. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Evan rolls. Supermax, in case you still need it, Nathan's room number is 111. Kate, you are so awesome. Thank you. I love that you bring out the rebel in me. Ha! <laughs> Kate's funny. You already are a rebel, trust me. Always. And please, please be careful. Promise. Of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. See, oh, Kate, Kate came in clutch. It. Let's so, go. Room 111 is the magic number. Ew, why is there a random... You know what? I'm not even going to ask why there's a random toilet roll on the floor. Um, 111. Ew. This can only be Nathan's room. Fuck Nathan's bitch-ass self. I'm glad he's suspended. Great. Do I have to slam the door? My controller is shaking right now. Okay. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans. But I am trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world. This diploma certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. Sixth day of June, AD 2006. The parents. Oh, shut up. Anyways, camera? That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Bastard. You know what I can do with $6,000, bro? I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I can treat my work wife to a nice little vacation that she, that she deserves. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. He's not even taking his prescription meds. Come on, man. I'd cry, too, if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Depressing. What's this? Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Do I really want to know? Nathan is scared. way into this party. Bad sign. And this is from Nathan to Victoria. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going, and I'm picking up some serious pathy flavors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end-of-the-world theme, then let's do it fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Kate's gone wild. Wow. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry, don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an anima along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Wow, Too no bad pressure. Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. 
and far away. Tudo Ben from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my coworkers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live versely through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass. But you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. Wow, that says a lot. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove, sending out good thoughts. Better right back, or I'll have a jagger, a jaguar shipped to your dorm. <laughs> yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Diet pills? Oh my god, don't tell me he has an eating disorder. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for itself. <laughs> Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. <laughs> if you have any questions, you know I'm always available to... You know what? He is just sucking dick at this point. The audacity. Okay, what's this? Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... I don't know who, but either way, he's a fucking psycho. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Let me guess, how much you want to bet he has Danny Darko please, in that fucking please, collection? Please, please, stay away, Nathan. Or, or Pulp Fiction. Like, he would have those movies. Oh, man. That dickhead stole one of my selfies. That's actually pretty concerning that he has a photo of you. Nathan Prescott, all-American teen. Honestly, I've seen better tits than that, but whatever. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Torture porn, low-key. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Ha! <laughs> Anger management. Wow. I never knew. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Cool. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Yo, this would be the perfect setting for movie nights with me and my work crush, like... That must my be work the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. As she should, like, what the hell? That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole, we need to talk. Or I'm going to tell everybody what you did, and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, Chloe. Yo, this kid's a psycho. While she was tripping balls, he took a picture. Yo, this is what I mean when I say he is into torture porn. Fucking weirdo. What the fuck? I really hope they were all consenting models. Yeah, okay. Torture porn, like, it's obvious at this point. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Yeah, turn that shit off, fucking weirdo ass. Um, I found nothing here, so... I don't know what to do. Let me just leave. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.